In this video, I'm going to discuss nine different niches which are going to see a big increase in traffic and sales for the month of July. Niche number one is a fairly obvious one, but it definitely has to be mentioned because it's one of the biggest t-shirt holidays in terms of sales of the year. Maybe not as big as say Halloween or Christmas, but it's definitely up there. And that is Independence Day or July the 4th. And that is obviously for America. So you'll see tons and tons of American flags selling. I know I mentioned this a lot, but for anyone who's new watching, who's just recently started print and demand, whilst you will see this type of design selling a lot, where it's literally just an American flag slapped on to a t-shirt that doesn't mean that you should be uploading tons of designs like that because it's most likely going to be way too competitive probably hundreds of thousands of results for that specific search term right just american flag t-shirt you will be drowned out and be shown on page 100 or something so what you want to do is you want to find sub niches meaning some search terms that are more specific that have less competition but are still getting sales or cross niche the american flag with various other topics such as hobbies job titles animals the obvious ones would be things like cat dog and hobbies i don't know gaming stuff like that bigfoot you see selling quite often right here there's one example so those are probably overdone as well but if you get specific with specific breeds specific hobbies that are not as competitive then you have higher chances of getting a sale and i actually made a video i think about a year ago now showing a design method to create american flag themed designs for pretty much every single niche that there is. I'll leave that in the cards right now if you want to check that out. It's Adobe Illustrator and it's a very good method that I've used a ton in the past and gotten sales with so uh, that could help you out with uh, creating designs for July the 4th. Niche number two is teacher of duty. And that is a very good search term because in July, it is usually some sort of school holiday, meaning that teachers will probably go on vacation and might want to wear a t-shirt related to that, right? And at the top of these search results, there's a very generic design saying, teacher of duty that's literally it and but you can get more specific and say kindergarten teacher sixth grade teacher as you can see science teacher of duty you can say we are on break uh, right which alludes to multiple people so that could be a, a couple's matching design for two teachers who are on break together and uh, most of these i noticed are just sort of sunglasses and the phrase so rather than doing that maybe think outside the box and um, think about what teachers might be doing if they're not wearing sunglasses and, and going on like a, a sunny summer holiday maybe there's other opportunities to sort of cross this design or this phrase with um, that could also get some sales and, and just stand out more in these search results right so obviously when it's school holiday there's way more opportunities for other similar niches as well to target such as families going on summer vacations uh, there's one one niche that's quite popular called girls trips um, so uh, groups of friends going on holidays together to specific cities or specific countries tons and tons of ways to approach this specific theme of it being summer of it being school holiday and uh, this is just one example of targeting the teachers moving on from that we've got sharks and i'm saying that because between the 11th and the 18th of july it is actually shark week and shark week always attracts tons and tons of attention to these shark themed designs now i purposely didn't enter shark week in the search mask right here and that's because that term is actually trademarked so you, you can't use that in your listings but that doesn't mean you can't create a shark themed design and still be found and get extra sales during shark week you can definitely still benefit of this sort of week-long holiday um, just don't include the word shark and week anywhere in your listing even if you split them up like i have seen people do that before where it's like shark at the start of the title and then week at the end that could still get you into danger uh, amazon is definitely aware of this trademark but yeah nevertheless looking through the shark niche obviously there's various different types of design styles i quite like this one right here quite funny with the with the diving cross niche idea the shark faces so uh, different types of sharks in one design that is always a really cool design style which might be complicated complex to put together but can have a lot less competition uh, maybe not in the shark niche like i'm guessing a lot of people have done something similar but in general designs like that can do really well here we've got a spin on that with different teeth that's pretty funny i've not seen that design before then you could target obviously different age groups so here it says just a boy who loves sharks um, you could do that for well for girls that phrase is trademarked but um, as you can see right there birthday shark three um, so uh, that is for a three-year-old the whole do 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 
um, thing. I'm pretty sure that's alluding to, I've forgotten the name of it now. It's some sort of kid's song. So be aware of that. Mummy Shark, Daddy Shark. I think those designs are all related to that famous song. And therefore, I would not recommend selling them. Um, here's some of the Just a Girl Who Loves designs, which um, I'm not 100% sure if that if that phrase is trademarked. But again, um, if you want to double check any of this, if, if you're not sure how to check for trademarks efficiently, because the USPTO database is, is very, very complicated and time consuming to look through, make sure to check out my trademark and copyright guide video, which I created a while ago, giving you all of the tools that you need to make life easier. That'll be linked in the cards right now as well, if you want to check it out. Niche number four is Canada, and I'm recommending this because it is actually Canada Day on July the 1st. This niche is somewhat similar to the uh, July the 4th niche, Independence Day niche that I showed you at the start, because it's it's going to show you tons and tons of results where a popular animal or a hobby or a, an object is crossed with the Canadian flag. And that's not to say it's all exactly the same, like Canadian culture is obviously different than American culture, and you'll see some sort of inside jokes for people who are from Canada, which you might not understand if, if English is not your first language, Language, um, it does definitely help looking into the culture itself to try and find sub niche ideas and one thing for example that I noticed while scrolling through this niche is this design right here that says I was told there would be Nanaimo bass and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong however um, I did have a look into that type of chocolate bar and it doesn't seem to be a brand name or a, or a trademark it's just a type of sweet or type of food potentially that is a sub niche to target right there for Canada Day now if it's not I'm sure there's loads of other foods that are very specific to Canada or that Canadians feel very passionate about that you could potentially target as well. So just take a look into these things. You're going to see the maple leaf a lot, which is obviously part of the Canadian flag. Um, there is tons of designs which are crossing the American flag with Canada. Uh, this is aimed at people who've got their roots in Canada, but potentially moved down to America and now live there. So whilst there will probably be a ton of competition there within that specific niche, like America plus Canada, I'm sure there will be some design spins that you could take to uh, stand out and potentially get some sales as well. For example, there might be a family where the dad is American and the wife or the mum is uh, Canadian. And you could allude to that fact, maybe you could make a design that says Canadian Canadian wife and do like a messy hair bun design or something like that. That's just an idea off the top of my head. I, I do know someone like that and maybe that's something they would give to their wife for Canada Day or just generally um, want them to wear. So um, again, these are just random ideas that spring out the top of my head. There is one design style here that I've noticed a few times. This one with the football and the different countries flags. I'm pretty sure that will be alluding to uh, some sort of official tournament, which is probably not a good idea to uh, try and sell that because um, we know from the, the whole FIFA World Cup situation that was uh, happening about half a year ago that Amazon is very likely to take down designs that are directly related to an official tournament. Niche number five is water sports, which is sort of a category of loads of different niches, which generally sees a lot more sales in summer than it does in winter for obvious reasons. I myself get quite a few sales in different sort of water sports related niches, and that's why I think you should check them out as well. Now I've typed in surfing right here just to give you a general sort of popular example that has got really nice designs in it. So you can get a bit of an idea as to um, what the designs look like. However, if you want, more suggestions i would recommend going to wikipedia and just typing in water sports i just did that and i found a list of literally it looks like about 100 different variations of water sports on that list so definitely worth checking out just to mention a few noteworthy ones perhaps to give you some ideas um, without looking at that list yourself we've got things like parasailing kayaking jet skiing canoeing there is wake surfing which i've never even heard of um, aqua jogging uh, we've got diving fishing obviously um, water basketball water polo so there is so so many opportunities for this type of category of water sports so definitely worth taking a look into and I hope you can get some sales in these niches on the 2nd of July it is actually world 
UFO day, meaning there'll be extra sales happening in the UFO niche. And this is definitely a fun one to target. The types of designs you'll find here look really, really nice and are probably fun to create yourself. Now, um, is this like a massive trend that I see thousands of sales probably like July the 4th? No, but nevertheless, it is still an interesting one to consider. Um, there's various types of designs which are crossed with animals that are doing really well here. Scrolling down further, we've got some funny designs right here, the sort of adult humor spins. What else? We've got Bigfoot right here. Bigfoot does appear in quite a few of these UFO designs. Um, there was one style that I really liked, this one right here, where they've put the cannabis leaves into the actual beam of the UFO. And you could take that design idea and apply it once again to other niches. Once you've got the template right, you can create loads and loads of designs very quickly that way um, by just adding different silhouettes. Plus, you could add phrases as well, then suitable to each niche, depending on what silhouette you use. So that's definitely one worth considering. This one I thought was funny, single and taken, um, which is um, a a funny design style which already existed beforehand but crossing that with the ufo idea is definitely definitely really cool so do check out this niche it's a fun one you can create some nice designs for it potentially get some extra sales leading up to world ufo day Next up, we've got another niche, which is filled with different flags. Uh, July definitely has a lot of those Independence Day types of niches, which are worth targeting. Uh, this one is for Colombia. Their Independence Day is on the 20th of July. So uh, this one, once again, very interesting. Going to see a lot of extra sales right now. A lot of these designs don't have a very low BSR, but um, Independence Days do work wonders when it comes to BSR numbers. And take a look at this right here. We've got two countries mixed or two flags mixed in one design through a heartbeat line. That is a really cool design idea, and I'm pretty sure that could also work for other topics, other niches, other flags. So a very, very interesting design style for sure. We've got a lot of the messy hair bun designs, of course, those are always popular. And the best seller here actually, my wife is Colombian, nothing scares me. That was a good one. And it's sort of what I was alluding to earlier with Canada Day, right? Make a design for the wife. And uh, yeah, that is just one funny way to spin it and create a funny design aimed at Colombian women. Um, nice, naughty Colombian. That is pretty funny right here, but that's a Christmas themed design. So I don't know. Yeah, it could potentially still get sales for this Independence Day, but not as likely. So yeah, take a look at this niche. There'll be lots and lots of interest probably in the, in the sort of two weeks leading up to a Colombian Independence Day. And if you get in there early with a unique design, you've got a better chance of standing out and getting more sales. Niche number eight is barbecue. And whilst having a barbecue is obviously quite popular in summer anyway, it is also National Barbecue Week from July the 4th until July the 10th. So that means even more people will be incentivized to have a barbecue. And potentially there will also be say family get togethers where they have a barbecue. Maybe there will be sort of family matching shirts that you can create for those situations, a barbecue themed round a family or friend get together. Um, so that is one idea to go down. Now looking through this niche itself, there is a ton, a ton of just funny designs, right? A lot of them also aimed at the person who's doing the grilling. So we've got grill master and we've got I like my butt rubbed and my pork pulled. So a lot of those sort of funny phrases seem to do really well in the barbecue niche. There's a lot of designs that are also cross niche with the American flag, which would be expected and, and will also do really well for July the 4th, by the way, because that's what a lot of people will be doing on Independence Day is having a barbecue. So take a look through this niche, get some inspiration. Obviously a lot of the animals that people would eat on a barbecue. We've got a barbecue timer design right here, rare, medium, well, so different beer mugs. That is cross niching beer with barbecue which goes really well together and lots of people will relate to that and find that sort of design funny smoke brisket not crack that's a pretty interesting idea as well um which i hadn't seen before yeah look at the fonts as well just one thing to take note of most of these are fairly what i would call masculine fonts and they have a lot of texture and grunge effects added to them which is something i will perhaps make a video about in the future i'm um, going through some really good textured fonts because not just in the barbecue niche but generally within print on demand i think those types of font are some of the best performing unless you're entering a niche that is very much aimed at women then um, i would go down a different route but overall textured fonts is something that you definitely need in your library uh, there is a few free ones out there but a lot of the better ones unfortunately are usually uh, to pay for but yeah have a look at the barbecue niche and i hope you have fun designing 
Niche number nine is disability because the entire month of July is actually disability pride month. And that means there'll be more sales happening around t-shirts which are aimed at disabled people. And one thing you could do is you could Google and see which are some of the most common disabilities that people have. Take a look what has the lowest competition, and highest demand, go into it that way. And what we can see here on PODCS in terms of results is designs aimed at people in a wheelchair. So I still run better than the government. Um, that phrase has probably been done a lot of times. Generally just targeting that specific group of disabled people could be worthwhile. Um, I'm guessing a lot of funny designs will do well there. We've got educated, disabled and proud. So that is a perfect sort of simple text-based design that could do well for disability pride month right it says that they're proud we've got autism adhd um, some common ones that can generally do really well um, in terms of sales for t-shirts and print on demand so i'm guessing um, those will also do better for july so take a look at this niche some funny designs in here some very colorful ones and there's a variety of different sub niches to target And as a quick bonus niche, I wanted to recommend Parent Day to you, which is on the 23rd of July. And Parents Day essentially means kids might get their parents gifts. And this is somewhat similar to, I guess, Mother's Day and Father's Day designs. But uh, nevertheless, um, here's some other examples of what you might be able to do. So this one says, I might love all my kids, but my middle child is definitely my favorite. So this is obviously a kid gifting that to their mom or dad um, or both of them for Parents Day. Just take a look at this niche. It, it might not get as much attention as something like Mother's Day or Father's Day, but I still wanted to mention it as a bonus because these sort of family themed and, and funny designs can do quite well if you can get some traction with a good, unique idea. And another bonus niche that I found for you is Hot Dog Day, which is on the 19th of July. So there'll be some extra sales happening in the hot dog niche in case you ever wanted to enter this. Certified Hot Dog Gologist. I thought this design is pretty funny and I like the design style as well with that circular text that's warped around. Could work very well as a sticker as well, potentially. And yeah, so this is a fun one. Lots of funny designs aimed at people who love hot dogs. So take a look at it. And just in case you didn't know, the research tool I'm using right here is called POD. CS and if you use my discount code PA50 then you can actually get 50% off your order uh, meaning I think it turns out either $9 a month or $99 a year which is some of the best value for money you can get for print on demand research tools. If you're currently stuck in tier 10 or tier 25 on Merch by Amazon, then you would definitely benefit from watching this video next, where I go over various different tips and strategies to help you get tiered up faster.